G'day guys, so uh, just got a, something to show you. It's a, a little bit funny, but uh, pretty standard in, in Australia for going to the beach and getting a blue bottle sting or seeing blue bottles at the beach. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a blue bottle is, it's pretty much a, a jellyfish that's got a nice long uh, stinging tentacle and they wash up on Australian beaches all the time. Uh, they got like a little air bubble on the top of them, so they float on top of the water and they just go wherever the wind pushes them. Uh, and when you get stung, you know, you can get different variations of sting, but most of the time it does does uh, give you a bit of a whack. But uh, Jace went to the beach yesterday and uh, he got stung, so took, took us through, mate. Well, how was it? <laughs> yes, uh, nice Australia day. Beautiful day, very hot here in Australia. Took the uh, family down the beach, took the wife out for a bit of a snorkel. All of a sudden I get a sharp stinging pain on my arm and it's, uh, t I saw the blue bottle, as you can see. <laughs> You look like you, uh, you got done really well there, mate. Got That's me a solid well there. one. Also got me up under the arm and kind of come around the back. So yeah. where, where the gland is under the arm there is really throbbing in pain, but there's not much you can do about it. So yeah. just get a bit of seaweed from the seabed and uh, peel the tentacles off so you don't get stung on your fingers. And, uh, but once you're stung, there's, there's not much you can do. Yeah. It's, it's a there's, ca there's a couple of wives' tales. You, know, you put vinegar on it or you know urinate on it, all sorts of stuff. But... If you can see, it's it's coming up in like lines of dots, and it's like welts in each one. So each stinger creates its own reaction. Um, very rarely are they are they you know deadly, but most of the time, uh, the biggest concerns with blue bottle stings are the location of the sting. So you know, uh, kids get stung around the neck all the time because they float on the surface as you're running through in the mouth. Uh, all sorts and it can close up your airways if you have a really bad reaction to it so as you can see just on the wrist it's nice and puffy and it's a um, bit swollen under there so uh, I know I've been wrapped in, wrapped in them as kids and my brother we've all been hit by them but um, pretty good place to get hit on the wrist but under the arm might have hurt a little oh, bit that was, one would have been a good one but um, was, uh, I've yeah. forgotten how painful it was you know I haven't <laughs> yeah. been stung for a while so yeah. yeah, and I, then you, I remember when we were kids, they used to get the swarm come in and there'd be thousands lying on the beach, they'd all blow up onto the sand, they'd yeah. be everywhere. So. Well, that was the hard part yesterday, so there, there wasn't too many on the beach, the swell was bringing them in, but then pushing them back around with a, in the bay we were at. So uh, on the way back in, I seen a, a few more coming in right next to some swimmers, so get out of the way guys. Yeah. Uh, blue bottle territory here, so yeah, good times on the beach. It's all part of Australian beaches, isn't it? That's right mate, that's right. Survive to tell the tale. <laughs> Live another day. Oh, <laughs> oh,